Hi everyone, welcome. I have a video today. Um, I made this accordion book for my swap over at Your Paper Pantry. So uh, I host the junk market over at Your Paper Pantry and every month we do different, uh, different themes, different uh, projects and basically what my swap entails is to use all of your unused scraps. So you know you know exactly what I'm talking about. We have that stash in the corner in a basket filled with remnants of papers and embellishments and things that we used on a project and then we had some left over. We basically used them up every month. So if you haven't signed up, come take a look at my um, junk market and we have a wonderful group of ladies there as well. Um, there are a bunch of different uh, themes and activities that you can come and join. So it's a really fun place to be and um, yeah, and then some amazing talent and amazing ladies out there. So it's really important that you guys come visit us. Um, anyway, with that said, I want to show you my accordion book. My theme this month was to build an accordion book, which was at least four pages, um, four, four parts to it. So, um, and basically you can run with it and uh, use all of your remnants that you have left over um, in your stash. So this is what I came up with on extra heavy uh, black chipboard I went ahead and I made this accordion book and it looks like so opens up like this and what I used was my <clears throat> I'm working on a couple of projects and they all have to do with the uh, Tim coffee line and you guys you, you have to go out there and check out Tim Coffey's um, website. He has amazing work. He does amazing work over there. Um, his line is through Kay and Company. And um, yeah, so it's super, super cool. Um, his paper is just amazing. So you guys have to go out and check that out. And this is the paper that I used here, as you can see. So my little theme that I have going here is sewing. So I went ahead and I have this um, stamp set by Crafty Secrets that has all of these cute little sayings and inspirational um, quotes. It's super, super cute. So this is what I worked on. And I used another stamp set which is by Oxford Impressions and I got this beautiful, um, beautiful dress form over here. And I went ahead and I took some lace and I laced up here at the um, at the waist and then I put some trim right here. It makes it look like she's got a dress on. And I made this pin and put it here. And then there's a little quote here, like a quilt, a friend will always warm your body and comfort your soul. So that's a really, really cute quote that I put there. And then I put happiness and um, a Tim Holtz pin right there. And then from that Crafty Secrets um, stamp set, and I think this is from Material Girl, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, Material Girl stamp set. It comes with this little... Um, like carton to um, put thread over. So I went ahead and I threaded it up and I added a cute little um, needle in here and some thread. So I have the thread coming around on this side. And then the next page I went ahead and from that Oxford Impression uh, stamp set, the dress, uh, I think it's uh, called Dressmaker. It has this really cute stamp and I went ahead and I used my Lindy Stamp Gang uh, sprays to distress white paper and this is what I came up with and it's super, super cute. And some Gina K buttons down here. I have another pin here. And I also used my uh, Tim Holtz on the edge die to create these backgrounds on the black chipboard. And I don't know if you can see that but I have a lot of um, distressing going on, and that's uh, Lindy Stamp Gang sprays on the back. And uh, for this distressing here, I use Jolly Roger Red and uh, Crow's Nest Copper to get this coloration here. Again, from Crafty Secrets, I used the cute little sayings. I have Grateful, and I have Friend, and I have, um, let's see, this one says, From Your Blessings. with thanks so and then here is you're so special and then I have friend 
grateful and this cute, cute scissor. And then I have some I Am Roses here and some more Gina K buttons. Then I've got some I Am Roses leaves down there. And then on the next page, this is from Oxford Impressions down here. I've got that little um, seamstress tape. It's a ruler, but I'm calling it a seamstress tape. And I have this cute little button. I mean this cute little uh, thread holder here. And then this says Life's a Stitch. And then I have this cute little paper clip here with a four. It's like a little ruler in there. And then here it says Create Material Girl. And then I have three girlfriends in there. I thought that would be really cute to put in there. So three girlfriends. And um, this space here is blank mainly because I, I wanted you guys to, um, the recipient is going to maybe put a picture here. So, and I bound this with um, jute twine. And then the back, real quick. The back I only lined with the paper. And as you can see, this Tim Coffee paper is so cool, you guys. Check that out. So super cute. So I took my notebook um, punch and I punched this on the side and I left here some space for journaling. And then I made this cute little rosette flower with a Gina K button right here. And I punched out some butterflies here and I left this blank for journaling. Then I left two blank spaces with the beautiful Tim Coffee paper, as you can see, for pictures and then again, another space for journaling in the back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will have um, a few pictures at the end for you guys to take a look at. But yeah, this is my um, accordion book. And like I said, I'm over at the junk market at YPP. And if you haven't come by and check this out, you should um, as soon as you're done with this video. I'll leave the link below so you can check it out. And I'll see you guys over there. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.